Sunday HQ. We are here at the Wednesday night party that Adrian Peterson is putting on here at the Hotel Zaza, and I'm here with none other than the legendary Eddie George. Eddie, how are you doing tonight? You know what? Uh, despite the weather, despite it being cold, um, I'm doing all right. I'm glad that uh, we're starting to get a little deeper in uh, the Super Bowl week. Some more sexy parties like this one tonight with Adrian Peterson. So it kind of uh, beats the cold a little bit down. We got something to do. Absolutely. You know, I'm glad you mentioned the weather because it has just been crazy. Oh. It's been nuts. We've been asking everybody, do you have any crazy stories and you know any difficulties with the ice, the snow, the sleet, etc.? Yeah, um, I, I gotta go to bed fully clothed because my room <laughs> is just as cold as outside. What, yeah. what, what about heat? Yeah, I don't think they believe in the heat at the hotel. It's it's unbelievable. It's I, I go in my room and I can still see my breath. <laughs> so there's, there's that's not good. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Not at all. So that's my story of the week that I still have to bundle up. It's not like I can go find another hotel room because everything else is sold out. Yeah, it's uh, sold out and really expensive. You definitely want to book uh, far in advance. Yeah, yeah. So i got to suck it up until the weather breaks a little bit over the next 48 hours and bunk, get two two blankets. I'm going to wear this to bed. This is my pajamas. <laughs> and I'll wake up and do what i got to do. Well, I guess you could just roll out and go to the parties. But, uh, Absolutely. So we're here at the Adrian Peterson. This is a Super Bowl uh, soiree party. What brings you out to tonight's event? Well, obviously Adrian Peterson. I mean, he's a fellow running back, and uh, any time that uh, one of the young guys throws something, you know, I'm always going to support because he is a fellow running back, and I'm here for a good cause as well. Absolutely. So, is there any running back in the game today that reminds you the most of yourself? Probably Adrian Peterson because he's so physical. He runs with the bad intentions uh, the, the, the hurt opposing defenders and that was kind of my style my philosophy he's clearly uh, a lot faster than I was because he can break at any point in time but as far as the physicality and the the, uh, the mindset that he brings to the game definitely uh, compared with mine what would you say it means to a player to get a Super Bowl ring what what, what, what how would you kind of describe that meaning it's the it's it's the creme de la creme that's what you play the game for. I mean, you play for personal accolades, but you get a Super Bowl ring, that's what you play the game for. You, you, you play to have that confetti fly out the sky and hold up the Lombardi trophy and have the opportunity to say, Mom, I'm going to Disney World. Right. But I don't think they do that anymore. But They should, though. I, I love that. Know, but, you know, it, you, you live for that. You live for that moment to play on the biggest stage and win it all. So what is your life like these days? I mean, you've just, you just done it all in the NFL. What are you up to these days? Man, these days I, I'm currently uh, getting more into acting, really? doing theater work, doing stage work, uh, looking to, to, to get into some more uh, business ventures right now. I just got my MBA from Kellogg last year, so looking to expand and leverage my name and create uh, some more business opportunities for myself. Well, sounds good, Eddie. I'm sure you, whatever you do, you're going to be incredibly successful. Last question, got to ask you about the game. Steelers Packers, do you have a favorite team between those or are you just rooting for a good game? Well, I used to bang against the Steelers with my old playing days, so I was never a Steeler fan. Right. Uh, but, but looking at the game, I, I give the edge to uh, I give the edge to Green Bay. I like what they're coming in with. They're coming with a great deal of confidence. Their defense is just as aggressive. Might be a little bit better than Pittsburgh's because of their cornerbacks. Uh, bit, uh, uh, the quarterback position is kind of a wash. But I think Aaron Rodgers has enough magic in his pocket to pull off an upset. Well, well they're favored to win, but I think Pittsburgh still, in my mind, they had a little bit of the the edge. But I think I think Green Bay will win. Are you surprised that the Packers are, are favored? I think they're favored by, maybe by two and a half. You know, I was stunned. I am, I am surprised. I don't know what, what, what's that based on, but but we'll see. Hey, hey, how you doing? All the, right. the crowd is calling Eddie. All what right, can man. I do? What can I do? Hey, Eddie, thanks a lot. Hey, great.